Hey everyone, Kelly Walsh from TeamMusicLicensing.com and KellyWalshMusic.com. And uh, today I want to share with you a great blog post that I wrote, partnered with uh, team founder and CEO Gary Gray. And this focus is, in fact, let me go ahead here, do a little screen sharing. So uh, this post that we're sharing, um, some of the many things you need to do if you want to prepare your music for sync licensing deals. So Team Music Licensing is all about educating musicians about the entire assembly line of creating music for uh, to position yourself for lucrative income from sync licensing deals. And uh, there's a lot of things that need to be done if you uh, if you want to get into this that go beyond just producing masterpiece quality tracks. So you know. If you're learning about this, if you're just getting started learning about this, this will be very helpful. If you've been learning about it for a while, we'll probably hit on some things you didn't know. And that could very well be the case even for those who've been doing this um, for a while. Just uh, some extra tips that may really help. So, you know, if you've been out there and you're, you know, you're making the, the best music you possibly can, it's just absolutely brilliant. People need to hear it. Uh, it's got great potential for licensing, you know, a nice kind of a upbeat, um, great hooks, uh, relatively generic lyrics, you know, because if you get real specific, then obviously it gets harder to uh, to license it because of the uh, context uh, that it would, would be placed in. Um, but if you're if you're doing a number of key things, it will help uh, music supervisors and those that assess music for licensing purposes determine, you know, are, are you ready to go? Are you a professional that is aware of these things you need to be aware of? Uh, as it notes here in the article, are you speaking the language in the music licensing industry? And are you a trustworthy source? Uh, and, and that's really important. People, if they're going to do business with someone, they want to know they're doing with someone business with someone that they can trust. And, uh, and, and know we'll work in a professional manner. So here's one of the um, things right off the bat that are really important. You need to have your work for hire and split sheet agreements ready to go. So what are those about? Well, if you work with somebody um, that does something for you for a song, you know, plays a part, uh, produces it for you, and you're just, they're, they're paid outright, and there's an agreement up front that, you know, this is your payment incomplete for this work. Um, and there are not going to be any sorts of splits or royalties or anything coming from this music to you. It's just you were paid one time. That's a work for hire agreement. And anybody that you work with, with that sort of arrangement, you need to have that agreement signed. Then, uh, you know, and you can find templates out there. We've got um, a split sheet template here on the site. Uh, if you come out to teammusiclicensing.com and look at the, uh, the freebies menu. So speaking of which, a lot of great freebies and up here I'm pointing to the, the blog. Uh, in fact, I probably should have done that right. So should have started off that way. So if you come out to teammusiclicensing.com, click on the blog and um, we've got about 10 great posts up here so far and continue to build more. Uh, and here is uh, the top left is the most recent one. And that's the one we're talking about, preparing the music for sync licensing deals, vital steps you need to take. And again, coming back down here, work for hiring split sheet agreements. So a split sheet agreement, on the other hand, uh, as opposed to a work for hire agreement, a split sheet agreement says, we do agree that there is going to be a split of, of money so, for example, um, my song "Take Me Back." I do an amazing keyboard player Ian Newman, and um, we split the uh, the writer's portion on that 50/50. Um, I uh, publish the song, so I have the the publishing rights for that. Um, and you can see here, right? There are um, ownership uh, rights. There's performance royalties, mechanical royalties, synchronization royalties profits from master recording, publish administration. So it sounds complicated, but the reality of it is if you if you happen to be a home musician and you're doing mostly the work yourself, it's it's much easier. There's you know, I, I've had quite a few pieces that I've done where um, my pup my uh, producer is um, paid on a work for hire arrangement or uh, uh, you know or we have an, an agreement, a work for hire agreement, and um, the rest of the content is is mine. Um, so uh, you know, really important thing to consider. And if you go down through this post, you'll see there are quite a few other key considerations. So you got to have your pro information together. You got to have the song copyrighted. You got to clear your samples. You got to get your metadata together. That's a whole discussion in and of itself. But I really encourage you to come on out here and explore this post and learn some more. And, you know, sign up for our blog post. So down the bottom, you give us your email address and agree to receive emails. You can get these blog posts on a regular basis. And while you're out here, explore. We've got some awesome um, 
great free materials. In fact, uh, some of these, the, the team social media marketing primer for musicians is just a really rich 30, 40 pages, really good up-to-date overview of getting yourself going on with social media and promoting yourself. Um, guide to lucrative mic uh, music licensing, 18 key steps, a lot of great material out here. This content marketing piece is absolutely brilliant. And then of course, while you're out here, take a look at our courses, uh, Team Essentials Training, uh, as inexpensive as 20 bucks a month. And not only will you get some brilliant courses like create a lucrative home studio and get your music license, but you'll also get access to our weekly live mastermind sessions with Gary and um, just a tremendous value. And uh, so, just wanted to share those things with you. Thank you. Have an awesome day.